Hello, and welcome to Taekwondo Training. I'll be your instructor for today's show, Bob Lemire. What I'd like to do on today's show is some, uh, again, some basic combinations, uh, kicking combinations. We'll just do kicking tonight. Uh, they'll be easy. Uh, what I'd like to do is one, two, maybe three kicks, uh, different combinations. I've done them before. I'm going to try to mix them up a little. Uh, I was just informed tonight by uh, Mr. Gary Muse that uh, this is our 200th show tonight. Uh, so that's a, a milestone for, the DA, for, for myself and for DATV to do 200 shows. Uh, and hopefully you've been watching me over the years, trying to get some uh, Taekwondo in your blood, trying to work out, or if not, maybe some of your children or your family. So we plan on doing many more shows and uh, trying to keep it simple, as I always say, and then mix it up. Uh, if you haven't watched previous shows, I'll just keep going along with some basic technique. All right. So with the kicks, and, I, and you see I have my trusty chair. Um, the chair is a lot for really beginners that never trained before, need balance, older people, someone maybe handicapped, uh, someone have a uh, problem with uh, balance. So you can work on a chair and, and work your way into, uh, uh, you know, without a chair, or without any support. You don't need a chair. You can use a wall. You can use, uh, you can use a couch. You can use your, your partner. Anything that's going to keep you stable. All right, kicks. All right, we're going to start off uh, with basic, basic front snap kick. All right, we know the front snap kick. I'm going to go through these fast too. Front snap. Look at chamber kick out, extend up. All right, I'm in a fighting stance. Come back, up in a fighting stance. Now, what I want to do is add a side thrust kick. This is a great and easy, easy combination. It's front snap. All right. Now, I'm going to keep my leg up, but what we can do, we can do a front snap down. See how I turn my body? Side thrust. I'm going to keep a midsection, too. I'm not going to go high section. People say, well, you know, why, why do you keep a mostly midsection? If I start throwing high kicks and I start throwing high advanced technique, you're not going to want to train me. You're going to say, I can't do this. If I keep a midsection, all right, or I keep it really simple, you're going to say, hey, I can do that. That ain't high, all right? Some martial arts, Taekwondo, we love our high, flashy kicks. Some martial arts, they don't want anything over the, um, say, o over the midsection. They say it's a waste of time and it's a waste of, uh, um, it, 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 it's just in your way. They, they, they have no use for high kicks. Uh, I like high kicks because I like to kick to the head area. But if you're not stretched or if you just want to keep midsection, they're fine. Your kicks will do plenty of damage, all right? Uh, or, or will be very strong to a midsection. So front snap, midsection, all right? Front snap, touch the ground. Now, the minute I touch the ground, I turn my body, and then I throw the side thrust. Up with the side thrust, all right? And then out. And if I don't tie my shoe, okay? All right. So front snap, down, and side thrust. Now, easy enough. All right. As I say, I'm going to go fairly fast because I want to show a lot of combinations tonight. All right. You're in a fighting stance. Hold the chair. Don't lean on the chair. You just a little support. This one's a little wobbly, so you want to get something that's uh, very sturdy. And if you do lean, you can fall. You just front snap. Look at I can keep my body straight. Turn side thrust. All right. Front snap down side thrust. Then you pick up speed. So as you do it, you start off slow. Then you pick up speed, all right? Keep it midsection. All right. You want to do high section, do high section. There's no big difference, all right, uh, if you have the stretch. Once you start feeling comfortable with that, uh, touching the ground, front snap, chamber. Look at I didn't touch the ground, side thrust. That's the combination. Front snap, side thrust. This is one of the beginning combinations we do when we teach combinations at the school. Um, probably about three or four months into it. We want, to get you, we want you to make sure your kicks are looking good before you do combinations. But if you feel comfortable, all right, one, see how I, I didn't, I didn't throw the front snap and keep my foot on the ground straight. I can't, because then I can't turn. So you have to learn how to pivot, right? And pivoting, you can even practice the whole thing on, see how I, I pivot? I pivot as I turn so that I can turn my hip into it and I can get that kick straight off. All right, so that's a front snap, side thrust. Pretty easy, all right? Front snap, side thrust, then come down. After you do your kick, 
One, two. Just land, land. Right? One, two. And down. Come back into a ready stance so if I keep keep straight. Do not try not to have a front snap side thrust and land. You can't land like that after any kick. You can't do this. The minute you do that, you're off balance and your gravity sucked you right into the to the, to the ground and you can't move around. You want to keep stay up on your feet, you know? Front snap side thrust. Now just right after the front snap side thrust, we do a front snap front round. All right? Front round comes around this way. Side thrust comes straight. All right? Front round. All right? Front round kick. All right? So if you do a front snap, front snap's good because it sets you up. It's almost like uh, boxers, they, they, they set you up with a jab. They keep this in your face. All right? A front snap, if it's coming in, it's almost like a jab. And it could set you up for any other kick you want. Right, and it keeps your opponent away, then all of a sudden, boom, you hit him with another. All right, so front snap, touch the ground. See how after I do my front snap kick, you notice I keep my, my uh, I don't put my foot on the, uh, my heel on the ground. Right, I keep my feet up this way on the ball of my foot, all right? So front snap, touch, then front round, all right? Front snap, touch. See I'm turning? Front snap, touch, turning, front round kick. All right, and I'm just holding on this lightly. Front snap, touch, front round. All right. You practice both sides. I'm only going to do one side so I don't have to keep swapping tonight. Practice both sides equally. Ten on one side. I usually do ten. Ten group, one side, ten on the other side. All right, so front snap, touch, front round. Now, you feel good after a while, front snap, front round. Look at front snap. And notice when I pivot, it's on, on it's when I come in back with my, my chamber on the front snap. I go front snap as I chamber, front round. You do your front round, you can do it with your whole instep, or you can kick with the ball of your foot. All right, like say you're gonna break a board, you wanna kick with the ball of your foot, you have to curl your toes back a little. All right, you practice that, curling your toes so that you hit with the ball. Uh, that way you don't bust up your toes or your instep when you're hitting that board, you know. Uh, I've seen people break with their instep. I never wanted to, and I never did. I figured it's easier to with my ball and my foot, which is strong. Uh, some people had a problem because they got nervous that if they didn't, they'd break their toes. But you, so you had to really get the stretch on the ball of your foot. So front snap. See, I'm keeping it in midsection. One, two, holding the, holding the chair. Okay. Then not holding the chair. You, when you're not holding the chair, you're going to keep, you want to stand straight up as you can, as, as, as uh, straight as you can. You're going to tilt a little, then you're going to bend a little because of the stretch, but you, um, you don't want to bend too far and throw the kick. You know, I can't even do it because you lose balance. So if you bend and throw a front round kick, now you're fighting your balance. You want to throw the front round kick, you know, just kind of straight. As I say, gravity is our enemy when it comes to Taekwondo. You've got to learn how to fight gravity. Uh, actually, not fight it. You have to be one with gravity so that gravity keeps you straight. The problem is you need a kind of a little stretch. That's why we're only doing midsection. I'm not going crazy high section so you're not bending. All right? So one, two. Look at how easy that is. And I can make it nice and relaxed, too. All right? Then I can go fast. I can go slow. That's front, front snap, front round. Okay. Uh, Another one, in a crescent, touch the ground, side thrust. All right, so instead of front snap, side thrust, it's in a crescent block. You block, then you threw a side thrust. I can go on combinations all night. There's just, it's infinite number of combinations, especially one and two. Then you add three, you can do combinations in any order you want. If you try four, you're out, you know. It's like playing the lottery. There's a million different uh, ways you can win here. All right, so, all right. You hold it, say we're holding the chair. Right. So when I do an inner crescent, I come in on a I come in on a 45 degree angle. I hit my target or I block and I come back at 45 and bring it in. All right, so one, two, down. See how I turned as I was going around? All right. So one down. And two. Side thrust kick. So I block, 
somebody had something, I blocked it out of their hands, they're wide open, side thrust to the midsection. Right? Wow, down. High section if I want. Block. Midsection, low section, excuse me. When you do low section, you're still chambering high, coming down. All right? You're still chambering high, coming down. All right? Just because you're going low section doesn't mean you want to not chamber. All right? You're not going to get any kick. Right? you got to chamber. You can't have it hanging out. So after you throw one kick, you chamber for the next. You're going to get fast at that, and your chamber's going to explode. You're going to go, ba ba ba. right? So without holding, block. Notice, I'm in a fighting stance. Bah! That, that can be a kick, too. In a crest, it can be a kick to the midsection. Problem is, it comes in like kind of flat-footed, so it's kind of a slap. But if you hit it hot enough, you're hitting a floating rib or you're hitting the ribs, you can do some damage, all right? So here, boom, down, all right? It's all one motion, boom, 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 all right? One, down, two, all right? One, down. Two, right. when you throw that side thrust, make sure you're getting a good knife edge. A lot of times, uh, I tell my students, brand new students, for your kick, side thrust, all right, put your foot this way. See, there's my knife edge. As you're going up, keep it there. As you're going out, keep it there, all right? Going up, out, keep it there, and bring it back. After you throw any kick, chamber back. All right, so I'm going one, down. See how I chambered, brought it back? I'm ready for another kick, always. All right. That's in a crescent kick. In a crescent, down. Side thrust. How about, we'll do the opposite. Out of crescent. So, in a crescent, you're kicking with your instep. Out of crescent, you're kicking with the outer part of your foot, okay? Um, Use it as a block or use it as a, as a kick. Out of crescent, I, always, I used to like to do out of crescent to the face. All right? I used to have a high section out of crescent to the face or to the head area. We're going to keep it midsection, though. All right? One, all right? 45 to a 45. One, two, down, and back. See how my foot's up? It's not out this way. I want to get the block or the kick. So one, down, two, down, back. One, down, two, down, and back. Can't be easier than that. See how you hold this, not too hard. Just keep your body. Go slow and back. And as you, as you start picking up speed, start feeling comfortable, your body's going to start. As you really get advanced, you're going to get a hip jog. In the beginning, you won't get that hip jog. You're just going to keep everything. But as you, as you start getting... Uh, higher at rank or a lot, of, a lot of training, your body will start knowing how to get more power. All right, so we did inner crescent, side thrust. We're going to do outer crescent, and what would follow would be great, another front round kick. All right, a lot of times I like to have things that really flow well, as I say, something that your body's in the position so that you can be explosive, and that's one of them, all right? So you're in a fighting stance, all right? Notice I'm just touching here. After I get that block or the kickoff, I'm here in a good fighting stance. Then I come back, front round kick. After I get the front round kick, notice I'm back in the stance. I can come in, throw any kick I want. Okay? Uh, I'm ready. Always be ready after every kick. If at one point you throw some really good kicks, but you're not ready, you, you land in a bad position, you have to work on that. All right? You can't be off balance. The minute you're off balance, your opponent is going to see it or they're going to take advantage of that. All right? So out of crescent. All right? Out of crescent. Touch. After I do my out of crescent, I'm not touching the ground with my heel. Whenever I'm, doing, whenever I'm touching the ground for a second kick, I never touch the ground with my heel. I'll touch the ground. You're almost close. But my heel doesn't touch. When my heel touch, touches, that means I've lost a little time. All right, one, down. It's almost, then up. Then I explode off it. Here. See, it looks like I'm touching, but I'm not. The heel, and then I explode with the front round kick. 
Then I get ready to come in with another kick. That's out of Crescent front round. Four combinations we just went through uh, in 15 minutes. A little advanced, it's a little advanced, but if you, if you go slow, if you hear what I'm saying, 45 degrees on the outer crescent, back, in, front round. Now, outer crescent, front round kick. Outer crescent, front round kick. All right. Outer crescent, front round kick. Keep it nice and easy. All right. Outer crescent, front round kick without touching. When you do exercises like this, all right, especially keeping your leg up, I used to like to hold on to something, just keep throwing side thrust this way. Now, try that. That's a good exercise, or a front snap kick. After 10, especially if you've, you're not used to it, you're going to be dying. You're going to be exhausted. Don't do any more than that the first time, because then the next day you're going to be walking like this. Your muscles are going to be sore. But what a way to increase the muscle in your legs. Your stomach, it gives you, it, it, it's like doing sit-ups. You start doing a lot of these kicks, combinations, or, or practicing keeping your leg up, right? Practicing keeping your leg up. Hold the chair if you have to. If not, practice for the balance, all right? Your, mu your stomach muscles, every muscle down go, that, that's from your stomach all the way down is getting worked, right? It's get, you're getting a great workout for it. Even your upper body, you're tensing up. As you're doing this, you're tensing. You're tensing your chest. You're testing your... Everything's tensing up because you're kind of in the midst of, of an explosive kick or, or even practicing. Bah, bah, look at it. So everything wants to tense up a little as you're keeping your balance. Uh, and boy, what a workout. It's a cardio workout, like running, uh, jumping jacks, skiing, cross-country skiing. It's like that, swimming. But you're training and you're learning the martial arts. You learn how to kick. Thing is, when you train in martial arts, you learn how to kick. You're pinpointing where you're going to kick also. So if I throw a front snap kick, that front snap kick is going to go in the same spot that I want it to go. All right? Beginning, you're going to flail. Or you're not going to know where it's going to. But as you, as you get stronger and your muscles, muscle memory, as your muscles get stronger and they, that muscle memory takes over, you pick a spot in the wall. You pick a pad that your friends are holding. Uh, that's why when you see board breaking or multiple board breaking and someone just pop, 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 I used to like to do that. Do five, six, seven boards in all directions. But just one board. You don't have to go crazy. You're showing them that you can pinpoint your kicks, all right, whether it's high, low, you know, midsection, in any direction. And that's done with muscle memory and constant, and you practice in those kicks, okay? So. We practice, how about a front snap kick? As we do the front snap kick, we do a side thrust to the side. All right, one, two, all right? Front snap, all right? Front snap, touch. I gotta keep remember I wanna touch first to show you that. Front snap, touch, side thrust, all right? Front snap, down, touch, side thrust. Now you're doing that kick from like a ready stance if you want. Someone's coming in, you can do it from a fighting stance. Someone's coming in here, front snap. Their friend's coming over there, side thrust. Their friend's coming from the back, back kick, all right? Ba, 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 ba. That's three, one, two, three, back kick. When you do the back kick, you want to kind of look peripherally, your peripheral vision. You don't have to turn all the way back. You've already kicked this guy, so just turn 45 and you'll see him, all right? So learn how to practice, uh, do some uh, peripheral vision exercises also. So what you, what you do is, you take your hand or your finger that's out of view. And as you look straight ahead, see when you start seeing your finger without looking. Now you're looking straight ahead. And I'm seeing my finger right here. All right, so it's a 90 degree angle from my body right here. So this is my peripheral vision. If I go like this at 45, I can see that finger moving. I can see everything. But I can also see an opponent here in the front. Now. If I go like this, I can see the opponent in the back. Right? You don't have to turn directly to look at them. And you can practice that, you know. Like from here, right from here, looking straight ahead, I see the flag. You say, how can you see the flag? It's way over there. Your peripheral vision. Right? And when we practice kicks or multiple kicks, 
front to back, front to side, you want to use that peripheral. And when I say use it, if you're doing front to side, look at 45 degree angle. If you're sparring two people, right, you, you make sure that um, if you're in the middle of them, right, you can see both of them and you keep them both at a distance. When you're sparring two people, fighting two people, you try to get around the weaker one. All right? So I'm sparring, I'm sparring this person and another person that's up in front. All right? Once I start sparring, I, I, I move around to the, this side and I block off the other person. And I start sparring this person. And you say, whoa, the other guy's going to come around. It ain't that easy. Because as I'm sparring this person, he's got to come around. All right? I, I can actually swap and start sparring him, keeping both of them behind each other. You don't want to spot two people, and you don't want to be in the middle of two people. All right? If, if I'm in the middle of two people here, I can't see. Okay? I can't see. Um, I, can't, I can't see either one of them, all right, if I'm in the middle of two people, or I can't see uh, their kicks as well. I want to be more of a 45-degree angle. All right, so <clears throat> try to remember that. Um, I get distracted easy. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're here. We're here. All right, hands are up. Hands are up. All right, front snap, side thrust, keeping the hands up. One, down, two. Get ready. All right, look at it. I can go front snap, side thrust, touch the ground, front round kick. All right, or I can go front snap, side thrust, front round kick. Right, hold the, hold the chair if you want. So you can touch the ground, hit, not touch the ground. There's a combination of, of, of thousands and thousands of different ways. Practice the ones that you like. Um, uh, that are going to be, that are going to fit your body. All right, practice the ones that you have a body type and you like to do this and your stretch for this is, practice those really well. You still want to practice things that are tougher or that don't work as well, just to get the, the, the uh, you know, loosen your body up. But things that you really like, get some combinations together. You don't need many. If you've got about four or five good combinations, different kicks, that's really good. All right? That's something you can pick up some speed. All right? In Olympic competition, Olympics, some people, they rely on two or three kicks. And that wins them an Olympic medal. You get those kicks fast enough and scoring points, you don't need all flashy, all million type of, of uh, combinations or, or a different kick. You got those kicks, a front round kick, okay? An axe kick, all right? A side thrust or a back kick. You got those down fast enough, your opponent's going to have a hard time getting through to you. Because the minute they come in, you're letting that kick go, all right? Especially the front round kick in competition. Uh, that, that, that just snaps, and it snaps, it hits the pad. It's a point or, or maybe a knockout. Okay, so try to work on, uh, on something that you like. Right? So again, front snap, side thrust, front round. Notice when I did my front round, I pivoted. Right? So one, two, three, and down. Right? Again, we want to do both sides, move the chair on the other side, do the other side. Right? Or front snap, touch, side thrust, touch, front round kick. Even if the front round kick, touch, back kick, touch, front snap kick, touch, side thrust, hook kick, touch, in a crescent. I'll keep going. I want a combination of 100. Blah, 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 blah. Keep going. You get tired. Uh, but you just, the minute you throw a kick and you touch, where am I going to go now? Woof. The minute you touch, where am I going to go now? So think fast. Start off slow. All right. Start off slow. Hold the chair if you have to. Right? Once you feel comfortable and you don't need the chair, you don't need the chair. All right, see? And then you just keep going. The minute you touch, then work on keeping your leg up. That's the tough thing. Back kick, front snap kick, side thrust kick, front snap kick, okay, front round kick. You just keep going and going and trying to get a flow. And as I say, the minute you touch and your body's in the position, what's a, what's a good kick from that position? 
right? A lot of times you're going to try to throw a kick and you're going, wow, I'm way off balance. They didn't go together. All right, so you want to try to work on stuff, anything that's going to keep your balance and your kicks going. And the more you kick, all right, so we've done about, I don't know, six combinations, seven combinations, different. I went fast, um, but all basic kicks. All right, front step, side thrust, front round, inner crescent, outer crescent, uh, maybe a little back kick. All basic kicks, work on those. You can go midsection, go low section. Want to go high section, just do it. You want to stretch a good 15, 20 minutes before minimum, and when you're done, you know, cool down for another 10 minutes of stretching, um, and, you, and you'll feel good, and your body won't uh, tense up, and you won't, you know, strain some muscles or, they say pull muscles or tear muscles. You won't have any of that. Especially if you're not used to this, you throw a kick with, when you're really cold and your muscle can tear. A, a tear in your muscle is so much, it's so painful. And then you have a scar tissue after that. So you wanna slowly, slowly loosen them legs up. And over time, they're gonna get nice and loose. They're already gonna be stretched, all right? And as, as the cold weather comes, you're going to stretch and you're going to feel comfortable. Warm weather is even better. All right? So you want to do as much stretching as you can. When you go to the gym and you're lifting weights or whatever, do some stretching in between each exercise. All right? Do some stretching. Try to stretch, especially your calf muscles. Oh, boy, those like to take a beating sometimes. Up in here, in your groin area, up in here, you don't want to, you want to, you don't want to throw a kick and have that tear. It takes, the older you get, the longer it takes to heal, too just so you remember that. It's about all the time we have tonight. Train hard and have some fun.